Now they also did a couple of episodes of Smokey and the Bandit here starring Burt Reynolds. The speedboat scene that you see with them coming through that shot that was dripping up and down the water, that was filmed right here. And not only that, legendary Tom Cruise got his first start ever right here in a movie called Legends. Now, in that movie, yeah, that, in that movie where he actually jumped off the cliff and landed in the water, well, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, he did not actually jump off the cliff, but he did jump and land into this water right here. Now, they filmed literally over just about 42 different films in just this one little area location around here. Um, the first film that was ever filmed here was actually in 1817, and it was a silent black and white film by the name of The Seven Swans. They filmed... Uh, Right here. <laughs> what else, what else? What else? What else? What's going here? Now, ladies and gentlemen, who on my boat know what this stuff hanging from the trees around here is called? And please don't say leaves. Moss. You are awesome, sir. So now it's called moss or Spanish moss Spanish. or grandpa's beard or old man's frost or whatever else anybody decides that they want to call it. Now, Henry Ford was one of the first people ever to actually use that moss. What he did was he stuffed his Ford Model T car seats with them just to give them a little bit of extra cushion. Henry Ford was also one of the first people to get an American recall. Yes, indeed he did. How many people actually heard that saying? Because of the Firestone. Ford itch. <laughs> well, that is where that saying comes from. Because of those nice little chiggers. Yeah. That up in those things. Chiggers. We hung out with Edison you in Fort what? Myers. Ladies and gentlemen, we're actually going to turn this 30 minute tour into a Gilligan's Island special. Come on! Let's do it! This next one we're going to go see is called the Cypress Tree. And they call it the Cypress Tree because there's a hundred year old Cypress tree that's down in here. Now the Native Americans like to call the Cypress Tree the eternal winner of 